Hello, and welcome to a video on how to make a Minecraft Pocket Edition server. Minecraft PE is a game allowing an adventure of limitless possibilities as you build, mine, battle mobs, and explore the world. This video will show you how this can be achieved on multiplayer, allowing you and your friends to play the game together. The first step is to go to scalycube.com and click Sign Up to create a new account. Once this is done, log into your account and make your way to Servers. Click on Buy Server and select Minecraft PE. Click on Get Your Server. Click Next. Select your location and click Next. Select the server you would like to run. This can be changed later free of charge. Click Next. Select the number of slots you would like your server to have. The next step is to select a server address for your server. For this video, we are selecting the default IP with port. This can be changed later. Click on Next. Here you can select any additional applications for your server. These can be selected at a later date if required. Confirm your server details and click on Pay. Your first purchase is automatically given a 50% discount. Select your payment method and finalize your payment. Once the server has been purchased, make your way to the Servers tab and click on Manage Server. Copy the IP address of your server and open up Minecraft PE. Once your game is open, go to the Multiplayer section and connect to your server using your IP address. You are now connected to your Minecraft server and can start your fresh Minecraft adventure. Your Minecraft PE server features in management. Go back to the ScalaCube control panel and click on Manage. Clicking on Console will allow you to enter server commands and see events happening on the server. Clicking on Become Admin will allow you to make a player or yourself an administrator in-game, which will allow you to use administrative commands. Clicking on Settings allows you to change the server.properties file and many other features. Clicking on File Manager allows you to get access to the server-specific files if you need to replace them or add custom configurations to your server. If we go back to the Game Servers page and click on the Backup System, we can set up a server automatic backup feature so no data would be lost in the future. Clicking on Sites allows you to create a free website for your server. Clicking on Applications allows you to use the many features offered for your server, including PHP MyAdmin, SSH Server, MySQL, Web Server, FTP Server, PHP, and Java. Going to FTP Users allows you to see specific details required to connect your server with an FTP client for easier server file management. Clicking on Scheduled Tasks allows you to set a scheduled task on your server to act as your server, like restarting or entering a command in the console for more automation. If we click on Monitoring, we can see the resource usage of our server and plan our mods and plugins accordingly to how much resources we own. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.